Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I turned this cardboard box into a dollhouse. It was used to deliver a dishwasher and it's very sturdy. I started off by cutting open one side and trying the layout for windows and the front door on the other side and cutting them out as well. Now I'm making a frame for each window using paperboard. Make sure that it fits inside the opening, you don't want it to be too big or too small. Next you will need a frame made of foam board that fits inside the other one and use wooden sticks to make window grids. Place the window inside the opening, use more paperboard strips to make a window frame, paint everything white and repeat to make the other windows. To make the door you will need cardboard, paperboard to protect the edges and to make door panels and a split pin for the doorknob. And then use the same method to attach it to the house.
I am also gluing paperboard to the edges of the railing before painting it white and attaching it to the staircase. Now glue all of it to the house as well as two columns, cut out a piece of cardboard that is as wide as the house and wrap it in contact paper to make a balcony. As you can see, I created a brick wall on the inside of the house as well, painted it white and applied a protective layer of varnish on top, covered one wall in grey paper and glued one foam board strip on each wall to support the first floor. Cut off the round edges of popsicle sticks and use them to cover the floor. Build a small platform and a step in the entrance area. Once you put the second floor in place, you can poke holes in the ceiling for the fairy lights. Make sure that you keep them in one line so that you can hide them later on inside a wall. For the bedroom floor I'm using popsicle sticks again and I'm gluing a piece of foam board behind the light switch so that it doesn't get pushed back by the wall, which I'm making now using foam board, paper board and contact paper. Make sure that you glue the long skirting boards on the left side and the right side only to the floor because you want to be able to remove the wall and access the fairy lights. If you would like to know how I made the bedroom, the bathroom or the kitchen, make sure you click the link in the info box and watch the tutorial.
and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow fun and craft on instagram thank you so much for watching bye